So question 1 is to do with the fraction and lenses. Question A, describe the lens. Two words from concave, convex, converging or diverging. I know they converge, so that's one of these, and it's a convex lens. So those are my two words. Uh, B, using a ruler, complete the two rays to show how they pass through the lens. Draw normals when necessary. Okay, so the first normal is drawn uh, just in here. It's going to refract towards the normal. I don't have a ruler and I can't on my iPad, but there's an arrow on it. And then we'd have another um, uh, normal, uh, sorry, that's the tangent there. The normal will be coming through like this, and it's going to bend away from the normal, continuing to converge. This one here, there's no normals, just go straight through the middle. That means this point here is going to be our focal point. Okay, uh, I've got to put the arrows all the way through on there. Should label that as normal since I don't have a ruler. Uh, C. Explain what would happen to the focal length of the lens of the same shape but a higher refractive index. Greater refractive index means more uh, or higher angle of refraction. Of refraction. And you could work through Snell's law equals n to sine theta 2. You could plug numbers in and test that for yourself but it is the case. It lowers the speed, meaning there's going to be a greater uh, bending effect. Uh, this is from the second page. Laura shines another ray of light into the lens as shown on the diagram below. Uh, calculate the angle of refraction at the first interface. So you've got the angle of incidence at 65 degrees. The angle of refraction here is going to be 90 minus that 50 degrees that they tell you about, which is nice and easy, 40 degrees. Don't even have to use Snell's at all or anything. Um, e, this is where it gets tricky, use the information in the diagram to calculate the critical angle theta c for light incident from within the glass of the glass near boundary refractive index of air is 1.0. So there's going to be a couple of steps here, because with the critical angle calculation, um, let's just draw a quick diagram so that we're making sure that we're doing this nicely. So this is the glass, and this is air. Refractive index is 1.0, and we're going to have a critical angle, and we're going to have an angle refracted at 90 degrees when we are at the critical angle. So for the right-hand side of the equation, we've got 1.0, that's from Snell's law, uh, 1.0 sine of 90 degrees. Now that's going to equal 1.0 altogether because sine of 90 degrees is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So that's nice. That's the right-hand side. So the left-hand side, we've got N glass times the sine of the critical angle. So this is what we're trying to find out, the critical angle, but we need the refractive index of glass. I'm going to do a quick scan to see if it's up there. I don't think it's up there. I think it's deliberate that it's not up there because we have to use the previous information given here to find out what the refractive index of glass is because from up there, and I'm going to do this in a slightly different colour well, a different colour anyway, so we can see what's going on so we've got um, 1.0 from n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2 we've got 1.0 uh, sine of 65 equals uh, n glass times the sine uh, of the for the angle of refraction was 40 degrees. So we can rearrange this to find the value of in glass. In, uh, in glass should equal sine of, because uh, it's 1 times sine 65 degrees, it's just the same as sine 65 degrees. So sine 65 degrees divided by sine 40 degrees, and that'll give us the refractive index of glass, which in this case is 1.5. Four zero nine nine six. We'll put 1.41 for now. Um, you should use unrounded, but I'm a little bit short of space. So 1.41. That means in our critical angle calculations down here, um, we're going to have 1.41 sine the critical angle equals 1.0 from the right hand side down here. <clears throat> so rearranging and putting it in, sine to the negative 1 of 1.0 divided by 1.41 should equal our critical angle, which will be 
45.17 degrees and you can round that to the appropriate number of significant figures most likely two significant figures and that is all of question one